Hi, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the English Standard Version Bible with Apocrypha, published by Oxford University Press. It's a hardcover from a few years ago. I do not know if this one is still in print or not. Um, but it, I think it's a really cool Bible and worth sharing with you. Um, I think this cover looks beautiful. I do not remember this having a dust jacket. So, um, if you get one, don't expect it to have a dust jacket because I don't believe it did. But anyway, here's the front cover. It says the English Standard Version Bible with Apocrypha and it's got a version of the ESV logo. And then it's got this neat uh, gold border design. And then on the side, it says the English Standard Version Bible with Apocrypha, that ESV logo, and then the Oxford logo. And then here's what the back looks like, and here's what the ISBN is. Okay, I'll read a little bit of the back. Um, since its publication in 2001, the English Standard Version has established itself as an accurate, readable, and literary rendering of the biblical text. Now, the ESV is available with the full collection of apocryphal books, the ancient Jewish writings from two or three centuries before the time of Jesus Christ. These writings provide a fascinating way to explore the religious background in the time before the New Testament and form a bridge between the close of the Old Testament and the events recounted in the New Testament. This collection of writings includes the rebellion of the Maccabees against their Greek rulers and the origins of the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. Wisdom literature similar to the book of Proverbs, stories of ordinary people acting with faith and confidence in God. That's a little bit of what it says on the back. Now to look in the inside. It comes with a um, card from Oxford that you can send in to register your Bible. Pull that aside. It's paste down hardcover. Uh, there is a blank page. No um, presentation page. The English Standard Version Bible with a Parkwood title page. And then the publisher's title page, or whatever it's called when it shows the publisher's logo, and then the copyright page. And let's see if this says what text this is. Text edition 2007, the Apocrypha copyright 2009 by Oxford University Press. Um, Printed in Korea, and then here is the table of contents. Um, this table of contents page does not list the Apocrypha books, um, but it does say um, for the Apocrypha, the table of contents and the preface of the Apocrypha and the books of the Apocrypha are from pages 1179 to 1438, and then after that there's a table of weights and measures. Alphabetical books of the Bible and alphabetical listing of the books of the Apocrypha. Here I'll read what they are in alphabetical order. Barak, Bella and the Dragon, 1st and 2nd Esdras, Esther, the Greek form, Judith, the letter of Jeremiah, 1st through 4th Maccabees, the prayer of Azariah and the song of the three young men, the Prayer of Manasseh, Psalm 151, Sirach, Susanna, Tobit, and the Wisdom of Solomon. Then the preface to the ESV. The Old Testament title page. And then you can see it's a two column text. And is really nice. Um, I don't think it's the same font as in the Crossway ESVs, though. Um, it looks a little different than that. Um, the subject headings are in bold. Um, the chapter numbers are bold. 
The verse numbers are a are good size for if you want to find your place. Um, and then there are footnotes down here in the uh, right column, right hand column. Um, and then here's what it looks like further in. And it does show that there is a, um, a poetry setting. I'll go to the um, poetry now. Here's how Psalms looks. It looks like they did a really good job. There's not a whole lot of, well, there are some places where there are one word on a line, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it happens too terribly often. Here, here's another page of the Psalms. And then I believe if I remember right, this is a black letter uh, New Testament. There's the New Testament. By the way, the, if I didn't mention it earlier, the Apocrypha comes after the New Testament in this particular Bible. New Testament title page. First page of Matthew. And then I'll get it to the Sermon on the Mount. And yes, it's black letter. And then after the New Testament, Book of Revelation ends on page 1171. Here's the last page of the Book of Revelation. And then you get the title page to the Apocrypha, the table of contents to the Apocrypha, the preface to the Apocrypha, another title page to the Apocrypha, and then you get the Book of Tobit. And it's still two columns with footnotes in that right-hand column. And then after the Apocrypha, carefully trying to turn pages so I don't skip anything. You get the table of weights and measures. Oh, and monetary units, possibly monetary units. Some blank pages for notes. Yeah, a few pages, a few blank pages for notes. And then you get your Oxford maps. And these are on cardstock paper. Oh, no, they're not. It's a thicker Bible paper. It just looked like cardstock for a minute there. That's cool that they're on paper. I've forgotten that I haven't used this Bible in a while, but that's really cool. And then you get one cardstock sheet and then back to the back of the inside and then to the back cover. It's a really cool ESB with a park. It'd be nice if they'd come back out with this one but in a leather cover. That would be really cool. I know there, that Cambridge produces the Diadem, which is available in both hardcover and premium leather covers, but I like this Oxford edition. I like the way the pages is laid out. I, I just really like this one, and this is really cool. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really good Bible. Um, if it's still available, I recommend getting it. It's really cool. I'm going to put the ISBN in the video description like always. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day. And see you in the next video.